Israeli Andrea. Good day, Otis, and welcome to our viewers. Uh, we are joining you from the waterfront here in Wolfers Bay. Yes, and as usual, I mean, Otis is going to bring you the latest news, the weather and tides, as well as the highlights from the past weekend's NetBank Desert Dash. Now, mm. it was an exciting mm. Saturday, Friday and Saturday, so we're going to chat to Gernot to Klerk from NetBank. We're also going to chat to Connie Loser and Irene Stein, who are the, um, the solo men and women um, winners at yes, the end of the day. Yes. Now Gideon Nav Nazolovsky, who is the Namibian amphibian. Our local he, man. Yes, our local man. He also made quite an entrance on Saturday afternoon, so we're just going to chat to him as well. So yes. please don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> Now the municipal rest camp step situation was discussed at the last town council meeting held at the end of November revealing some shocking figures. Now according to a draft resolution the outstanding debts were put at more than 3.2 million Namibian dollars by the end of June 2020. Mm. Mm. Now most of the debt is historical and has been outstanding for 10 years. Yeah, so any attempts to collect the funds have been in vain, a uh, draft resolution states. Cool. And uh, although the mountain of debt is enormous, it does not reflect the real situation. And because of this, the debt has been broken down into different categories to create a better understanding. And uh, it was found that some amounts were system errors. For example, bookings of almost 120,000 were electronically transferred, but the payments were not entered into the booking system, something that has not been possible since December 2019. Sure. Now it also was found that part of the debt was due to cancelled bookings. Now as soon as the booking is cancelled, the cashier responsible has to reverse the transaction which was always which was not always done effectively. Mm. Now these cancelled bookings amount to more than hundred and eighty three thousand Amobian dollars. Now however a large part of the debt is due to historical book book bookings that were never paid. Now in this context the rest camp is missing more than eight hundred and thirty thousand Namibian dollars. Sure. So there is a number of bookings that have never been paid for and there is no explanation for this. Uh, many of these payments are out of date and it will be difficult to track down the customers and collect the funds or to inquire about what exactly happened, the draft resolution states. During the council meeting it was then decided unanimously that of the 3.2 million uh, that is outstanding, 2 million should be written off. The remaining 1.2 million will be collected. Yo. However, the largest debtor is the municipality itself. According to the draft resolution, the town's debt to the municipal camp stands at more than 850,000 Namibian dollars. Now, invoices must be issued to the various departments within the municipality in order to collect the money owed by council, according to the draft resolution. Mm. Now, a follow-up will be initiated for the remaining amount, which is 350,000 Namibian dollars. Leandre, if I'm not uh, uh, mistaken, the, the Ministry of Health used that facility as a quarantine facility. Yes, yes. And yes. they also had issues with paying yes, and, and stuff yes. like that. Yeah, right? like, like it is uh -huh, always. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, so with the coastal area readying itself for holidaymakers, businesses in Karibab have undertaken to make the town more attractive. Mm -hmm. uh, the town which is home to Namibia's oldest gold mine, the Navagab gold mine, as well as various marble processing plants is one of the towns en route to the coast for the interior and vice versa. Now, and I quote, Karibab is, town with a, is a town with a rich history and an equally promising future, former mayor, mayor Nabot Titus said. Now, this is part of the town's endeavors to make it more attractive and signaled our commitment to planting deep roots in the socio-economic development of the town. So, Mr. Nabot, Nabot made this statement during a recent tree planting ceremony mm -hmm. Uh, and at the event, Navajab Gold Mines Managing Director George Botshiwe said that the fisheries trees uh, that had been planted reflect Karibab's community. Mm -hmm. Now he says it is a tough 
hardy battler that can stand up to wind, sun and dry so pretty much like the people of Karibab, resilient and motivated. We look forward to a long journey with our Karibab family on a path of new prosperity and growth, uh -huh. he said. Wonderful. Uh, then uh, the need for a lifeguard service along the beach in Swakop Moon is urgent given the fact that more and more people are drowning. And according to a draft resolution announced at the council meeting at the end of November, so in light of this, the Sokop Moon Town Council wants to sign an agreement with Aqua Moon Academy, a private rescue service, and at the same time lend the academy a helping hand. So according to this draft resolution, the executive had already identified the need for such a service in September, uh, where after Aqua Moon Academy submitted a proposal to the lifeguard service. Mm -hmm. Now the academy will consist of a team of lifeguards who together have more than 15 years experience in saving lives. Mm. Now the team would like to expand its skills and offer training in the Swakopmund community. Now the goal is to make our beaches safer. Mm. Read the document. Mm. Now Aquamund Academy wants to erect two lifeguard towers in Swakopmund, one at the Mola and another at Plaza Mir. Lifeguard services will be provided during the holiday um, season, public holidays and days when the weather is good. You know everybody flocks to the beach when the weather is good. Yes, now, yes. There will also be training for like children. Now, like yes, in this time, yes. Yeah, yeah. There will be training for children, young people and adults as well as for staff from companies that are based near the beach. But this service can only be offered with financial support from the municipality. Yes, yes. And the uh, council therefore decided that every volunteer lifeguard would earn uh, $213.93 per day for their service. Uh, this is equal to half a firefighter's uh, uh, B4 rating daily salary who now also serve as lifeguards. Mm -hmm. So when many people drown in the ocean, it places stress on the community and it can affect the town's prosperity, the yes. town council said. Yes. Now because there has been an increase in drownings in recent years, lifeguard service is crucial. Now, however, in the proposed resolution, there is no mention of the Sea Rescue Institute of Namibia, which has been offering such a service for many years and also has the equipment including a motorboat. Now, Grant mm -hmm. Hall of the SRIN was unavailable for comment at the time of going online. Now, the Swakopmund um, Res Sea Rescue Institute is based at the building at the jetty. Uh -huh. So, Leandria, we had a hectic, hectic Saturday, weekend. yes. Yes, and uh, I know the team was really drained, energy levels were sapped, uh, but I think it was worth, uh, worth the while, you know. So, Connie Loser won the uh, Netbank Desert Dash for six consecutive time crossing the finishing line at Plaza Mir Mall in Swakopmund early Saturday morning in a time of 14 hours, 45 minutes and 21 seconds. Mm -hmm. The Swiss cyclist overcame a strong challenge from the Namibia's Martin Fryer uh, in the solo category, f finished in second position with his time of 15 hours, 5 minutes and 48 seconds. Now, um, Connie says that it, this was one of his hardest dashes. Now, in the beginning, there was a lot of wind. After 50 kilometers, we were only three guys. I went a bit harder on the climb, and after that, we lost Dusty. Now, Dusty came in third uh -huh. in the solo man category. Now, like last year, I just kept hammering on towards Connie Contest and managed to establish and maintain the gap between me and my counterparts, Connie said. Now, last year's runner-up, um, Dusty Day, finished third this year yes. with a time of 16 hours, 34 minutes, and 28 seconds. Now, cycling for over 300 in 73 kilometers. It's not child's play. No, it's and not. For me, any day is, 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 yes, it's, it's. Now, if you, if, if, if you just imagine what someone says that won the dash for the past six years, uh, he says this was one this of his one hardest dashes, yes, then yes, you should know. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, so the competition, which is known as the world's longest single stage mountain bike race, features a variety of categories such as the solo men and women, mixed two person team, two person team, as well as four person teams over grueling six stages of 373 kilometers across the Namib Desert. The oldest in the world yes. were the starting point at Vinduk's Grove Mall. Yes. Yeah. Now it was a third time lucky for Irene Stein who emerged victorious in the female solo category in a time of 17 hours, 52 minutes and 35 seconds. Now she outpaced Genevieve Weber who finished in 18 hours, 15 minutes and 49 seconds and Wilmin Chamberlain who also finished in 19 hours, 12 minutes and 49 seconds who finished second and third respectively. Now she yes. says, I feel really great for winning the race. I'm tired now, but it was worth it, said Stein, who finished second and third at previous dash yes, events. events. Yo, yo. Yeah, she encouraged upcoming racers to persist if they want to become successful cyclists. 
uh, it was years and years of riding that got me to this point and now I am enjoying the fruit of my hard work, she said. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now Gideon, now was now Zolowski and his teammates made it before the cut of time of 15 hours for teams of four. Uh -huh. Now Nazolowski, the Namibian amphibian, <laughs> who is a paraplegic, Why received not amphibian <laughs> Namibian. <laughs> I understood the market that the marketing team wants it the uh, Namibian way. amphibian. Okay, okay. <laughs> or amphibian Namibian, Namibian yes. Yes, yes. Now who is a paraplegic received the Yaros welcome at the finishing line for his courageous effort. Yeah, so over one thousand entries were received in this iconic race, which was held for the sixteenth consecutive time and sponsored by NetBank on six of those occasions. Mm -hmm. Now, according to the MD of NetBank Namibia, Ms. Martha Murorua, the investments injected into the Namibian economy as a result of participation in the Desert Dash are estimated to be tens of millions in Namibian dollar terms. Yes, she said uh, we welcomed participants from all over the world to Namibia's most iconic cycling race and have to thank each of the 1,050 cyclists who lined up uh, uh, to take on the mighty Namib. Cool. Yes. Now this year's Desert Dash um, prize pot amounted to 398,000 Namibian dollars. Now the champions in the solo category pocketed 35,000 Namibian dollars each, while the winners in the two-person team pocketed 21,000 Namibian dollars and the various four-person teams walked away with 15,000 Namibian dollars. But you can head over to our Facebook page. We have been live. We shared pictures. We shared videos of what happened at the NetBank Desert Dash. So you can still check out all of those live feeds. The last live feed is where we um, basically showed you the prize giving of where the solo mm. um, category um, participants receive their finishes medals. medals. Yes. So there's so much happening on our Facebook page. You can just go ahead. All, all the results. Uh, all the results the are there as well. Yes. It's there as well. So you can check out that as well. And if you see yourself in a picture somewhere, or a video, just tag yourself and share it. I, mm -hmm. I mean, we love the likes and the reactions and the views. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can also check out our website for these stories and so much more on our website at www.irongo.com.na That's www.irongo.com.na I, Frankie, pledge to build a band of brothers. I, Michael, a pledge to define myself by my character. I, Gesser, pledge to use my strength for good. My name is Ethan, and I pledge to nurture my fields. I am Aubrey, and I pledge to make the world a better place. My name is Salatiel Shinedima, the Executive Director of Women's Action for Development, and I pledge to mentor the next generation.
wind. Yes. So we were a few guys working together, but then, like after I don't know, maybe 50 kilometers, we were only three guys. Yes. So after uh, the Uis Pass, after the downhill, I tried to break them. So yes. I went a bit harder on the climbs, and mm -hmm. then I saw Dusty. He had a, he took a few shots, and then yeah, we dropped him. And or like after the 100 kilometer mark, I just uh, kicked once, and then yes. I was I, I, I went on you my own. The lead. Yes. But I was surprised that Martin, uh, he was uh, holding the wheel like almost the same time gap the whole yes, time. So yes, yes. And then just before the halfway, halfway mark, I, I ran out of food and then I had a little bit of a... Uh, yeah, okay. I, I, I had uh, a lot of problems, yes. but uh, luckily I had a gap so I could uh, take some sandwich. and. Uh, but yeah, right afterwards Martin was super strong and I, I was uh, struggling to hold the wheel. Uh -huh. And then the two, um, the two men teams um came kai and um, michelle yes. so we could just sit a bit and then yeah i had uh, like i had almost till 300 kilometer mark i i tried to recover from it from yes like yes and then i yeah i felt a bit better and then i just said okay i have to to go all in yes make a plan after make it to the end yes and then i yeah i just like like last year i uh, just hammered through pony contest and i made the gap and then the other holler guys they stayed with me mm -hmm. so it was actually a bonus to have them because then they worked on the flat towards the finish line and they uh, yeah so good for me uh -huh. last year we asked you and you said maybe maybe not so yeah this year was a bit uh, terrible year for me mm -hmm. not many races and then i i saw the race like the desert dash is happening yes so i yeah i took a break in uh, september already so I need a new goal and uh, it's always good to have a race as a professional because yes. uh, then you have some extra motivation to to train for, mm -hmm. especially now the weather is not so good in Switzerland and um, yeah, that was my main reason why I, I tried to come back because yes. I, then yes. I had the goal, I was motivated and uh, yeah, also we combined it with a little bit holiday after uh -huh. the dash. So. Namibia is always great. <laughs> Something personal? How is the marriage? <laughs> yeah, I think... I think uh, after this year's marriage, it's almost a home race for me uh -huh. to be a husband from a Namibian, Namibian woman. So, yeah, so, so I like uh, it. Did, did you tell your wife not to compete? Or no, no, where no. Where is she? Where is she? She's still in uh, Switzerland, but she will come uh, next week. Yes. She's uh, busy working, so yes. she had not so many holidays left. Yes. And, uh, but she will come next week. So, Connie, what's what what's your message to the youngsters out there? <laughs> Don't do it six times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't do I it. I ask six myself times. a few times today why. Uh -huh. But you know now it's it's done and it's all I mean yes. I'm yes. okay so <laughs> Which which was the hardest stretch for you? Yeah, Yo, you know it's how can I say? It's it's about the food. I always struggling with food, mm. taking food. Mm. Like my stomach also today, a lot of cramps and I felt uncomfortable. Like uh, you reach a point where you can't eat the bar anymore, and it's just and it's really uncomfortable on the bike then. Yes, yes. And uh, also, I mean, even to drink, I just drank water the whole, most of the time. Yes. But even water, I couldn't drink anymore, and so there's a lot of things where you have to go through mentally. Yes. And talking about mentally, what goes through your mind on <laughs> this on this journey? What 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 happens? Yeah, a lot of things. Eh? In the beginning, you, you want to check the competi uh, competition, like the other guys, how strong yes. they are. Yes. And then you try to make a plan, <laughs> mm -hmm. how you want to drop them. And then, yeah, like today, I was, I was, concer I was, uh, I was a bit unsure where I can, uh, can drop Martin because he was looking strong. Yes. And especially because just before the last um, water point of the uh, 320, the, um, like the four-man team, they also catched us. So we were all together. So it was a completely open race again, and I was, I was thinking, yeah, how can I manage to drop them? And uh, yeah, I could make a plan, but it's never, it's never for granted that it's working. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, Connie Loser, Thank you. doing it for the sixth time. <laughs> can we have a oh yeah for him? Ik is met Irene Steen, de eerste dame over die wedstrijd. Hoe voel het? Alles fantastisch. Ik is, ik denk, ik is rechtig verheugd en ik is net zo blij. Ik kon hier jaren winnen. Voor mijn sponsor dank je zeer, meneer Manny Eimans. Ja. 
Um, ja, dit was net fantastisch. Ja, dit was een goede reis. Ik was oh, moeg, ja. maar het is goed uitgedraaid. Ik ja. voel nog goed. Wat was voor jou die, die tafste stretch geweest? Um, in het begin, die wind in die hitte, was, dus die wind het gewaaid tot half wat. Ja, so, dit was baie moeilijk. Ja. En het zegt met jou voorste ene is het wat jy nou doen? Het is my derde en wat ek klaar maak. Ja, het ja. jy al vorig is gewend? Eerste nee, ek laat nie, ek het al tweede en derde gekom. So, die is een baie speciale ene vrede. Ja, so nou moet ek ophou. So, het hem lekker nie, jy moet nou eerder gaan nou. Nou moet jy begin. Uh, sê vir my, uh, wat zou jy vir die jong mense daar buiten sê? Jo, ek sal sê, um, hou net aan. Ek bedoel, dit is maar, dit is, dit is jare en jare is, 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 is opoffering en fietsrij en plikke kie vruchte, ja. Maar sê, nou sê my nou, waan toe hier vanaf? O, nee, dit is mys nou vakantie, sê hmm. strand toe. Daar sê, bietje relax, <laughs> ja. kom nou uitskop. Ja, ja, sê, ja, sê. Baie, Baie dankie, dankie. oké. Okay. You talking down on us, we live it up. You talking down on us, we live it up. I'm talking way up, way up. I'm talking way up, way up. I'm talking way up, way up. I'm talking way up. You talking down on us, we live it up. You talking down on us, we live it up. I'm talking way up, way up. I'm talking way up, way up. I'm talking way up, way up. I'm talking way up. For these haters, they should call me NASA. I got a NASCAR, cause my car is faster. Pull up to valet, tell them park that thing. Leave a blunt in the car, tell them. Ik is met Jeugje van Graan, die man wat achtste hier oor die wenstreep gejaag het, so paar oomblikke geleden. Hoe voel het? Nee, het is maar moeg, oud is, maar het is een belevenis. Je weet, na een jaar soos het ons beleef het, die jaar is ons as netbank net baie blij dat die, dat die, dat die event kon plaasvind. Ik denk die, die gemeenskap, en my beer het nodig, is klomp, 
uh, toeristen wat doorgekom het, meer as duizend fietsrijers, en dit, en dit is die groot ding daarvan, dit is die inpak op die economische economie, of mens ons land te wees, yeah. en ek bedoel, dit, dit, dit bly een bucketlist event, um, om dier die, om dier die, dier die oudste woestijn, en dier die nacht te rui, is net een, is net die ongelooflikse voorrecht, en uh, weer eens, en, na jaar, soos vir jaar, dit is positieve goed nodig, en net weer herinnering, om, om te kan rui, is, is een groot voorrecht, hoe ek, jy weet, uh, en nog gezond te kan wees. Jirgie, wat doen jy bij Netbank? Man, ek is die uh, uitvoerende financiële beamte, so ek, ek, kijk naar die financiën, strategie, en, en ook die bemarkingspan, so, uh, hier is ook my baba. In termen van, van uh, cash injection, wat beteken dit van nummer weer? Nee, groot, ook, ek, ons het al beramings gedoen, en daarna, jy moet nou kyk, uh, dier die jaar, mense rui fiets, hulle koop fiets, hulle dienst fiets, um, en met die, met, met die event, met, ek het nou met die klomp, sê Afrikaners gepraat op die pad ook, hulle kom allemaal vir een week, families, uh, en ja. doen dan bykie besichtiging ook, en goed, so, ons skat die totale, direct en indirecte inpak van, het, het kan tot om te train 25 miljoen, en my biese dollar wees, so, wow. dit is kom die, die event, brood nodig is, ek denk ons is baie trots, het ons, het ons 60 jaar, het ons het nou, het, ja. uh, en hy hier om te bly. Ja, sê, uh, sê van my terug na die desk toe, wat was vir jou lekker van hierdie desk? Wel, ek moet sê dat hy vind die eerste helft, was definitief nie lekker nie, dit kan ek vir jou sê, Aha. maar ek net weer eens die kameraderie, weer die omgeef van die mense, uh, ongelooflike toeskouwers langs die pad gewas, en vir my die speciaalste is ons, uh, ons nieuwe MD, Marta Marurua, wat nou so 6 maanden by ons is, sy het recht dier die nacht gerei, by elke oorgepunt was sy daar, uh, kom vir high five gee, kom vir my uh, uh, woorde van, uh, positieve woorde vir ja, my sê, en ek ja, denk ons vir ook ongelooflike beleving, is die eerste keer dat sy by, 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 by die dash is. En dan in termen van, uh, wat zou jou boodskap aan die jeug wees daar buiten? Nee, ek denk om, uh, om, uh, om, uh, om buiten te speel, te oefen, uh, en ek denk dit is ook die ander die doelwit met die ding is, uh, en ek, ek, ek is eigenlijk baie spuit, ek is nooit vroeger blootgestel in, in fietserij nie, en dit is ons ook ding, fietserontwikkeling is ons baie belangrik, en dit is my ongelooflik ook geweest om te sien hoeveel jong, vorig benadeelde uh, deelnemers was hier op e-bikes, uh, die pijspan, die, uh, mm. uh, en uh, dit is wat ons wil hee. En uh, ek denk, uh, die, die des het ook een groot sociale impact, ja. want daar is ouwens wat ge, ge kanker ja. rui, daar is ongelooflik, ons het die legacy of love, ons het die Nanku Sef van Daishin, ons het vir Uwe Diekman, wat, ek denk hierdie jaar, is die derde keer dat hy kom, maar die laatste vorige twee jaar, ek denk ek kom, er is 750.000 uh, rand ingesamel, of nummer mise dollar, en ek denk hierdie jaar, mik hy vir een miljoen nummer mise dollar. Gaan jy het weer doen? Uh, definitief weer, dit was my negen heen, maar ek weet of ek weer die solo sal doen nie. Ok, baie dankie. Okay. Dankie, dankie ouders, en dankie vir al jylle, dat jylle ook hier vandag is. Ok, baie dankie. I, Frankie, pledge to build a band of brothers. I, Michael, a pledge to define myself by my character. I, Gesser, pledge to use my strength for good. My name is Ethan, and I pledge to nurture my fields. I am Aubrey, and I pledge to make the world a better place. My name is Salatiel Shinedima, the Executive Director of Women's Action for Development, and I pledge to mentor the next generation. Now for your weather and tides, kicking off with the tides, we had high tide this morning at a quarter past two, low tide at 10 minutes to nine this morning, and then high tide will be at a quarter past three this afternoon, and then finally low tide will be at 20 minutes past nine this evening. Your best fishing time is between 20 to 3. 
to a quarter to four this afternoon. Now for your temperatures, um, Warfish Bay maximum for today is 19 degrees Celsius with a southwesterly wind of 13 kilometers per hour. Then for tomorrow, a minimum of 14 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 20 degrees Celsius. Now um, we had sunrise in Warfish Bay at 11 minutes past six and sunset will be a quarter to eight um, this evening. Now this is more or less your sunrise and sunset times for all the major towns in the Irongo region. Moving on to Swakopmund, maximum temperature for today, 19 degrees Celsius with a west southwesterly wind of 13 kilometers per hour. For tomorrow, a minimum of 14 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 19 degrees Celsius. For Antis Bay, maximum temperature for today is 19 degrees Celsius, south southwesterly wind of 13 kilometers per hour. And then for tomorrow, minimum of 14 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 19 degrees Celsius. For Arandas, maximum temperature for today is 26 degrees Celsius with a westerly wind of 16 kilometers per hour. For tomorrow, a minimum of 12 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 26 degrees Celsius. For Usakos, maximum for today, 36 degrees Celsius with a southwesterly wind of 13 kilometers per hour. For tomorrow, a minimum of 12 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 36 degrees Celsius. Uh, moving on to Karibab, maximum for today, 36 degrees Celsius with a southwesterly wind of 13 kilometers per hour. For tomorrow, a minimum of 13 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 38 degrees Celsius. And then finally, for Omaruru, maximum for today, 38 degrees Celsius with a southwesterly wind of 11 kilometers per hour. And then for tomorrow, a minimum of 30 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 38 degrees Celsius. And that is your weather and tides for today and tomorrow. Andrea, we've come to the end of today's show. It's a wrap, as yes, they say. Yes, yes, it's a yes, wrap. yes. <laughs> so, yeah, we hope you've enjoyed uh, the content of our show today. Mm -hmm. uh, join our family, online family. Uh, yes, and if you want to put your business on the map, we get, are the team. Get in contact with us. <laughs> yes. we'll, put, we'll take you there. Exactly. We will take you there. Yes. So, you can check out our website at www.irongo.com.na. That's www.irongo.com.na for yes. all the latest news, what's happening here. You can also advertise on our website. You can also follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, and on Instagram. And you can get in contact with us at our WhatsApp number. That's 011 7040. That's 011 7040. Now that's also the number you need to save for this December festive season yes. because you can win some money. Yes, thousand bucks. Exactly. Thousand so bucks. our NetBank as a dash competition is still ongoing where you can send a 30 second video of anything that happened at the NetBank as yes. a dash. It can be either of you, the participant or whatever. It needs to be landscape, mm -hmm. very important mm -hmm. and not portrait. Mm -hmm. Then you send it to the number at 0117,040 and who knows, you could... You could walk away with a thousand Namibian dollars. Yes. And another thing is the Irongo Talk team is also going to be at the NetBank Swakop Food Fest on Thursday and on Friday. And as we are so uh, festive and pregierig, we are hosting a competition where you can win a stall at the NetBank Swakop Food Fest. Now what you need to do is you need to send your name, your surname, to, tell us a bit about your business. Specifically, we're talking to the local entrepreneurs that are in the food business and send a picture of yourself to OE117040. That's OE117040. And who knows, you could win that stall free yes. of charge yes. at the end of the day. And promote your business exactly. and your products. Exactly. Yes. So please remember, we'll be back again tomorrow um, um, from 12 o'clock. We'll be at Van Pom 14 in to show you what's happening there. And, and, yes. And you know what? Why, why are we wearing this? Exactly. I'm getting to that. Uh -huh, Cases uh -huh. are increasing in uh, the region as well as across the country. Yes. We are in the festive season. I yes. know a lot of us are plain jolly, fed up. Jolly. Yes. Jolly <laughs> we are mood. fed up and we got a bit relaxed. Mm. But please wear your mask. Please social distance. If you see there's a gathering that's happening and you, know, you don't have to be there, just go home. Please just go home, take care of yourself, take care of your family. The only way we can keep our numbers on the down low or very low is if we cooperate, uh, cooperate and we start sticking to wearing your mask, sanitizing your hands and keeping your social distance. Yeah. Because I know for a fact that a lot of us, we can't afford another lockdown. So let us please cooperate at yes. the end of the day. Yes. So we'll see you again tomorrow.
afternoon at 12 o'clock, same time, different place. Yeah. Bye. Bye.